Now, authorities are still not clear around the number of casualties at Danel's rain metal munitions factory. Uh, that explosion happening at the factory just yesterday. Our reporter Peladi Satusa joins us now with the very latest on that story. Uh, Peladi, yesterday as the story broke, we were reporting uh, eight fatalities. The defense minister's visit today, uh, we heard a different story. In fact, those fatalities yet to be confirmed. Yeah. Uh, so, Michelle, it's not an entirely different story. What that confirmation we had gotten was uh, from the city's fire and rescue teams who were actually first on the scene confirming that figure of eight. Whereas today we've heard from the CEO of Rain Mattel, uh, Norbert Schulze, that they can't confirm a figure. But we're able to tell us that the building where the explosion happened, only 10 employees are allowed in that building at a time. So uh, they don't want to be guessing because they say they, ha they haven't actually been able to access that site and uh, actually retrieve some of those bodies. So only once they've act physically retrieved those bodies will they get back to us with a number. Uh, but the minister uh, also saying, you know, that it's the numbers are aren't important right now. What is important is that the families of the 10 people they could confirm were on site at the time are getting the support they need ahead of uh, potentially finding out some devastating news once uh, this work gets to that level. And Pilati, when will the families have some closure, some finality around what unfolded and whether their loved ones uh, have in fact lost their lives? Unfortunately, that is still unclear. Uh, they were telling us that the work they've been doing so far is merely to secure the site so that the first uh, forensic teams um, and teams that need to move rubble and safely at that uh, can go in. So they've only managed to get that right within the last hour. So the first teams that will be on site, there are those forensic teams. Uh, we saw a truck go in uh, from the city that will uh, presumably be removing rubble. So um, they say there were no injuries actually, interestingly. So even all those ambulances we were seeing last night we didn't have any uh, people inside them. So no injuries means that potentially all the people who were there are either dead or there may be some trapped survivors there. But uh, that they say uh, they can't tell us when they'll get to uh, knowing if that's a fact or not. But they are uh, beginning their work in earnest uh, now this morning and they will uh, update us via another press briefing possibly later this afternoon uh, and media statements that they will be sending to us directly. So in effect a harrowing wait for the families of those 10 people who uh, would have been in that part of uh, the building there. Pilati, plenty of questions during that media briefing around the safety record of Donnell. Uh, what was said around that issue? Yeah. So uh, the CEO spoke quite uh, decisively on that, uh, saying that, you know, they are a world-renowned company when it comes to safety standards and that uh, in the past 10 years at this particular plant, they've only had three incidents uh, that they would uh, say were consequential. Uh, there's been one death in the last 10 years uh, due to a fire where someone uh, inhaled a lot of smoke here. So he says um, they, you know, they do their best to assure that their workers are safe and and uh, properly trained for the work that they do. Uh, he also went into some uh, detail about what it exactly it is that they do here. So I, I don't know if I'm going to get it right, but I'm going to try. From what he said, he said they mix uh, propellants, which act as the charge, for very big shells. He said they're about this big, I don't know if you can see, and weigh about 45 kgs each and are used uh, as you know, as arms uh, to, uh, for those people who buy them. So um, at this moment, we actually can't say uh, how many people are either trapped or dead here in uh, Somerset West. Yeah, so the, the work by definition is dangerous work, Pilati. Uh, one would expect that certain safety measures will be in place, and I suppose uh, once uh, those investigations are done, we'll have more answers around how this explosion might have happened. Yeah. 
Yeah, and they were saying to us that they can't even speculate at the moment what might have caused uh, that explosion because they uh, do their best to be uh, as safe as possible with those various elements that they use. But we also had the Denal chairperson saying that, you know, uh, Denal only owns 49% of this company with Rain Metal being the majority shareholder. And they're saying they chose Rain Metal in particular because they are known for being safe and being the best when it comes to manufacturing manufacturing these type of arms so uh, they don't doubt that uh, this might have possibly just been an accident they don't suspect that it was a case of negligence especially where safety is regarded but again we also will only have answers once those various agencies go in and begin uh, ascertaining what caused this explosion yeah absolutely well thanks very much uh, for that our reporter Pilati Setusa on the scene there in Somerset West as we continue to wait uh, for answers of around that explosion at Denel's rain metal munitions factory there. Of course, very importantly, the families of those 10 people who would have been in that section of the factory, uh, they're also waiting for some closure around the fate of their loved ones.